Hi friends, we have practiced constructions of orthographic projection. Let's have a discussion on the concept of pictorial projection and its views. A pictorial projection is a three-dimensional view of an object as it appears physically. There are three kinds of pictorial views available, isometric, oblique and perspective. Isometric projection is also known as axonometric projection. In this, the three dimensions of the solids are equally visible and proportional to the actual dimensions. In this presentation, we'll discuss only the isometric projections and their views. So, let's construct an isometric view of a cube. It is resting on HP on one of its bases with sides parallel and perpendicular to VP. Observe its orthogonal views. It shows true shape and size of the cube. To view the other features of the cube, it is rotated about its vertical axis such that its faces are equally inclined at 45 degrees to VP. In this position, the front view shows two rectangular faces. However, the top view still appears as square. Now, to obtain the isometric view, the base corner 3 of the cube is lifted, keeping the base corner 1 as it is. Here, faces A, B and C are known as isometric planes. This single view represents the isometric view of the cube. The edges 1, 5, 5, 8 and 5, 6 are referred to as isometric axis and make an angle of 120 degrees to each other. These angles are known as axonometric angles. The edges 1, 4 and 1, 2 are parallel to the isometric axis and are drawn at an angle of 30 degrees to line XY. Here in isometric view, the lengths of the isometric axis are equally foreshortened by 0.82 times their true length. The isometric lines foreshortened by their true lengths are parallel to the isometric axis whereas non-isometric lines are not parallel to the isometric axis and they show actual lengths. In an isometric view, the isometric length of the edges is shorter by 0.82 times their true lengths. So, in practice, an isometric scale is created from which the required isometric lengths corresponding to the actual lengths can easily be picked up. Hence, the view drawn using true length is called the isometric view. On the other hand, the view drawn using isometric scale is known as isometric projection. So let's illustrate an example. A square lamina is positioned with its surface parallel to VP. Observe its orthogonal front view ABCD gives true shape and size. Now let's describe the isometric views. In isometric view, the horizontal lines in orthogonal view appear as inclined lines making an angle of 30 degrees with reference line. Let's mark inclined lines B-A- and C-D- equal to BA and CD. The vertical lines in orthogonal views are same in isometric views. This rhombus is the isometric view of the square lamina from left side. Similarly, take a look at the views from right side and top. So friends, we learned the basic concepts of isometric projections and drawing isometric views. We will be continuing the discussion of different methods of drawing isometric views in the next module.